What up, it's Melvin7 here, bringing you episode 5 of my Let's Play series. We're going to be completing Team of the Season so far moment. Grealish, uh, it looks like an absolutely mad card and yeah, I can't wait to complete that. We're also going to be doing the Danish-Brazilian centre mid all at the same time because I can't be bothered to do it on squad battles because it's just boring. So, in order to do that, obviously you need a f uh, two games, a finesse goal with a championship player, so we've got Rooney there. You need 10 through balls with an English player, so we've got Chamberlain, we've got Vardy and we've got Rooney. You need 7 wins with a Premier League 4 star uh, weak foot player, so we've got Bruno Fernandes, we've got Kovacic and Fred for that. I can also bring on James because he counts, and then you also need the assist with a 3 star, uh, sorry, Three-star weak foot minimum player, uh, and that's going to be Vinicius from the bench. Um, and yeah, that's practically it. Obviously, the, the Danish player that you need a goal with, I'll sub on Anderson when we're winning. Uh, I know it, it's pretty cluttered. Uh, I don't do the objectives like normal people do, but uh, yeah, it seems to work for me. And we'll, we'll get it done regardless. So this is the team that I've built. Uh, it seems... You know fairly decent other than Chamberlain they're pretty high level players and it's a lot of my main team anyway so yeah let's go and do this yeah so while I was doing these objectives I did enjoy using the team that I selected uh, I'm just going to run some of the highlights obviously not every single thing because it's not strictly relevant but we did manage to get both players um, again I forgot the name of the Brazilian centre mid um, but we did get Grealish as well and I've played a couple of games with both of them and I quite enjoy them I've brought the, the Brazilian uh, off the bench and he scored a few goals and then uh, Grealish is, is quite good I, I reckon I'll probably, you know, he'll probably be obsolete soon anyway like especially if EA do anything for footies um, you know, he's, he's the type of player that I, I'm probably not going to grow too attached to um, but we'll see uh, obviously, you'll have already seen in this video, um, I believe. Oh, no, you won't. It'll be later. Yeah, it's my ultimate uh, team of the season uh, pack. Well, <laughs> what should be the ultimate team of the season pack. But, of course, EA have named it a deluxe team of the season pack because the ultimate team of the season would have provided you a much higher percentage of getting a really good card. But, yeah, that's going to be in this video um, straight after these highlights um, but before... I show you me claiming Grealish. Uh, obviously, there's a few hiccups with the videos and everything and the way I'm doing things. Uh, that's just because I'm, I'm getting back into the swing of things. So, yeah, it's, it's hard formulating things with, uh, with streams, with video schedules and what to put in what video and everything. So, you know, if you're watching it and then I say, like, oh, there's a, you know, there's this section of the video and then it doesn't appear, it'll probably be in tomorrow's episode and vice versa. Um, just yeah sometimes it's really really confusing knowing exactly what to put in what specific episode but yeah you do have the guaranteed team of the season pack I'm not gonna give any hints away at all but uh, yeah that's gonna be in this episode I am hoping that they do something later today obviously this video is coming up at 5 p.m. so the 6 p.m. content will go into tomorrow's episode alongside the uh, the foot champions reward which I will be streaming at 3 30 I know I've mentioned that a lot but it would be nice to see some of you in there it'll just be a short stream like you know half an hour maybe an hour i don't know uh it, it won't take very long because at the end of the day it's just opening rewards but it's guaranteed red picks so it's always a lot of fun the video will be uploaded to youtube straight away so if the upload's slightly later than 5 p.m that's why uh but yeah i really hope you do something man like they they haven't done enough with the ultimate team of the season to be honest. Um, like th at the minute, of course, they might come later today, but there's no guaranteed repeatable team of the season pack. That was fun last FIFA. I can't remember what the rating was, but I don't think it was too bad. Um, what was it like an 84 and 85 plus a team of the season or something? It was quite easy to repeat, and it was fun. Like uh, most of the time, you got like the the dead team of the seasons that nobody wants but at the end of the day if you do you just put it back in and you kept going until you got something decent and I mean there's oh, there's got to be over 200 maybe 250 team of the season cards that are tradable on the market at least so you know the, the chances of you getting the top elite ones from that isn't huge and uh, it's, it's a bit of fun anyway like they, they really do not understand their, their their fan base at times really and I don't know what they're going to do on Thursday. Obviously, they've got their usual 
upgrade packs, but because it's ultimate team of the season, it it'd be a bit pointless doing the league specific ones because, for example, the Serie A, you've only really got Ronaldo that people are interested in, like Luis Alberto, no one really cares. So you know the the chances of you getting him would be slim. So they they have to do something with that. That's when guaranteed team of the season packs can come in. You can do a full segment. Uh, you can have like a minimum rating, so you could have different ones. You could have like the the base one, which is like an 83 rated squad and a team of the season, which just gives you any of them. Then you could have a minimum 90 or a minimum 92 plus, so it gets rid of some of the duds. And then you could have the deluxe team of the season, which is obviously all five leagues, but just make it repeatable. Because at, at the end of the day, there's so many cards like Sedar, all the goalkeepers. Um, Oh, off the top of my head, say Yonku, or you know, there's so many that are just not worth anything. So, just just make the game fun, man. And again, I I honestly I don't know what I'll be streaming on Friday if they don't you know announce that there's going to be a new promo like footy starting or whatever. Uh, if they don't announce changes to foot champs like getting team of seasons regularly in your picks, etc. I don't know. Like I I need some suggestions because I'm still going to stream, but. You know, the FIFA's starting to die. It's coming to the end of the cycle, so you know I'm I'm gonna need some suggestions for games to play. Um, so I, I can try and you know be as entertaining as possible. It's it's very hard at the minute on FIFA uh, because EA just seem to do the absolute bare minimum, and then there's all these uh, potential changes with loot boxes coming in. Uh, I know the government's re looking at that, so you know they're. The um, money they get from it might start decreasing, so they might be forced to actually do more content to try and get people to buy the game because micro uh, transactions might be getting removed or dumbed down, etc. You know, with new policy changes. I know in Belgium you can't add FIFA points, so if that happened more on a worldwide scale, that would hurt EA a lot because you know Ultimate Team is a big cash cow, isn't it? Like, you know, they make two billion from it every year or whatever it is. It's it's absolutely crazy. So, yeah, but that's a topic for another video when we get more information on that sort of thing. Uh, it probably would be a positive change, to be honest. It would force them to, you know, make actual engaging content. I really cannot believe they've done absolutely nothing with Milestones. Like, I was so hyped for that at the start of the year, but we've had, you know, the, the five league... Um, specific ones with the the little shitty upgrades to be honest and then the three basic ones that have been there from day one like the champs the rivals and the squad battles nothing else to work for it's just it's ludicrous like they need to do that on this Friday just to keep people engaged but uh, it's shocking but as you can see th this game was, was very easy I won 13 nil, and it helped me a lot with the objectives so uh, yeah we're going to get straight into my pack now Right, so this is the team that I'm going to turn in for this guaranteed uh, team of season pack. I've got some higher rated players, but I'm anticipating there being another one tomorrow, or I'm hoping so anyway. So uh, yeah, obviously this is the rest of the world team of season that I pack. Uh, the Martinez objective, I just I just can't fit him in. Um, so yeah, and then a couple of other players like Handanovic, Benucci, and then, you know, fodder really. So... Here we go, Deluxe Team of the Season Pack. Let us see what we can get. There's a lot of duds, obviously, because it's all five leagues. So, what, you're talking 115 potential players? So, yeah, let's let's see. Uh, oh, screw it, we'll open this little thing uh, just beforehand. A little Electrum player from one of the objectives, I think. Uh, of course, it's nothing, so it doesn't really matter. But what can we get? Obviously, I want pretty much anything in the ultimate team of the season or stuff like Aguero, Verna. Obviously, just let's open it. Let's open it. See what we get. Hopefully, it's not a complete dud. Ah, come on, come on, be something good, please. So we've got Brazil. That's a good start. Oh no, 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 man! He's a duplicate. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, oh man! Oh, I'm gonna have to find an SPC to put him in. Of all the Brazilian team of seasons, man, you could have gave me Neymar, you could have gave me Richarlison. 
Oh, you bellends. It's a 97 rated that goes for about 20k. I mean, he probably goes for about 100k, but... Um, yeah, not much more than that. Oh, oh man, I'm going to have to store later. Or I can do the uh, quick sell recovery. So we've done it. We've got the two players that we wanted. It's an Avin Evander. Ev Evander. He actually looks like a really, really good player. And thankfully, he's not too hard to link. I still might end up just using him for fodder. Uh, the five star skill moves, four star weak foot, you know, decent agility, balance, dribbling, stamina, you know, the usual kind of stuff. He, he lacks in certain areas, but he might be a, a fun player to bring off the bench if I can't start him. Of course, I can link him with Fred. I can link him with Eda Militao. So, you know, I can get a bit of chemistry. I'll probably play a couple of games with him, but if they release anything that, you know, I can dump him into, like an ultimate team of season pack, I'll probably do that. This Grealish, however, I do want to use him, you know, for a long time. Hopefully he'll be pretty decent. I don't really have a left wing from the Premier League. Obviously I'm using Hazard, uh, but I can put him over to the right if needs be, or I can put Grealish over to the right. Um, it doesn't really matter, but this card looks really, really good. And uh, other than the three star weak foot, of course, but he definitely deserved to get in team of the season. So, you know, I'm glad they've gave him a moments card during the ultimate one. Very, very solid card. And yeah, I'll, I'll see how he performs. The medium, medium might hurt him, especially if I'm using him as a left mid, but we'll see. Um, yeah, if, if he's bad, again, it's another 92 rated card at the end of the day that I can put in to an SBC for something better. But yeah, anyhow, that's the end of this episode. Tomorrow will be my ultimate team of the season pack and uh, the foot champs rewards for gold one, gold three, which I will also be streaming. So hopefully I will see you there uh, roughly about half three, half three on Thursday, which will be tomorrow when this video is uploaded. So anyhow, thank you for watching and peace.